Hey guys, today I'm going to share with you some nice Christmas clip arts. But there's a catch, I didn't finish them. We need to finish them together using a shape builder tool. I hope this will be a nice practice for you and as the final result you will get some clip arts. Alright, so <laughs> giveaway, but IKEA style, you need to assemble this yourself. You can grab the file, I will leave the link in the description and then we can start together. As you can see, I'm here in Affinity Designer, that's version 2.2 for desktop. And what we need to do is we need to grab those shapes and use some shape builder actions on them. Let's start at this bottom corner with the Christmas tree. This will be easy one, so we can simply select multiple shapes together and then search for the shape builder tool. It will be on the left, just below your shape tools. All right, we can put it in the plus mode straight away. So let's click the plus in the action panel. And now just click and drag this assemble line to match those shapes together. And we end up with just one shape. We can flip the stroke color to become a fill color just by clicking this arrow here between stroke and fill color. Done. The bottom shape do not require any action. We just need to fill with color and reorder them. To reorder, you can simply drag and drop this layer below the layer above. And here is our first clip part is ready. And very similar situation on the right, we got the snowman like thing. So we select all of those shapes, shape builder tool, plus mode, and simply unite them together. Oops, my last use color just show off. So I will undo command Z. All right. So I don't want my last color to be used. So I keep it as blank. And let's try again. This time I'm going to use a simple action because only thing I want to do is unite them together. I actually don't need to grab a complex shape builder for that. I can go to the top to geometry tools and search for action core add. Take a look, a very same result. All right, we can add two shapes here as well. Nice and move it a bit lower. And we got our second clip art ready. We can add more details here if you like. Next one. Let's try with the selection and we should be able to try to unite this one with one click. But as you can see, I got weird results. Nothing is united. And if I try to use shape builder, I got shape builder fail message here. So that's unusual. That's a bit of glitch. What can we do in a situation like that? First thing we can try is to group them into smaller, smaller groups. So just group two together. All right. Now at the bottom, I will group just two shapes together first. All right. Let's group two shapes here. Nice. So we got way less now. We got just three shapes. Let's try again. And it succeeds in the second try. So if for some unknown reason your geometry tools start freaking out, you can start to grouping them with smaller bytes. So it's way easier to process for your computer. And sometimes with shape like this, you want to use a corner tool for some finishing touches. So let's zoom in a bit. All right, and seems like I will need to remove some of those nodes first. And then I can use the corner tool to make some finishing touches here and there, make it a bit softer. All right, so first I'm cleaning up the area by deleting unnecessary nodes. And then we can use this round corner tool to make it a bit softer, just like that. Now bake appearance and here's our next clip part. As I mentioned, feel free to add some details on them. 
on the snowman, you can put some decoration on the Christmas tree, you can put the face on the snowman. Gingerbread man will require some face as well, I guess. That will be up to you. Next one, again, Christmas tree, a bit different one. So let's unite all of those shapes at the top. That was easy. And again, we got this shape at the bottom. What if we want to actually cut out part of this shape? If I use the top shape right now, let's move it to the top. I select them both and I use subtract. Take a look, it worked, but the top shape disappeared. So we can actually do that, but don't forget to duplicate the top shape. So we can Command C, Command V, copy and paste. And in that way, you can use the one shape to cut out and another one will still be here. The copy will still be here. All right, that's done. Let's move higher. Again, very easy situation, just adding shapes together. As you can see, most of the clip parts can be assembled from simple shapes. The next one is a bit more complex. What is it? Let's select all shapes. Now, go back to Shape Builder. We will need to subtract, so I turn the minus mode because I want to get rid of this part. And now you can probably recognize what are we building here. And again, it was all made of smaller regular shapes, rectangles and circles. And here it is a way more complex shape after we apply some shape builder actions. The next one, here it is. I was not really precise with this one. So first we need to clean it up. I will use shape builder in minus mode to get rid of those unnecessary elements that popping out. Now I can unite this part and this part. Nice. Let's flip some colors and recolor some elements to the intended color. Nice. We still got this element at the top. This will be rather simple. Let's try to unite everything using the simple action. Works just fine. Now we can place it somewhere at the top of this gift. All right. You can add a nice pattern to this wrapping paper if you like, or you can simply make duplicates of the gift in different colors. We got just few shapes left. So this one is a simple decoration. So again, we can just unite that, flip the color. We got some kind of star, but with additional triangle, take a look. So the bottom part can be way longer. That's nice. Again, just uniting this together will do. This one look way more complex. So let's use Shape Builder. All right, and we need to use the minus mode this time to get rid of those circles. Take a look, I select too much. I think I will need to undo. All right, let's zoom in a bit closer then to make this task easier. Oh, again, I must be really careful here. So we don't want to do that. So I can actually go out like that. And that's it. We managed to delete those circles and turn this rectangle into a leaf shape. Very same thing on another side. Shape Builder minus mode and we want to be a precise here. We don't want to touch the middle part. That's the one that must be left untouched. Just like this. All right. All right, seems like we got some troubles with this shape. Take a look. I cannot recolor this color correctly. So let's inspect that. What happened? Seems like there's no shape in the middle, huh? Can we fix that with a vector flat tool? Let's try. Can we fill it with color? And it's work out. 
So again, it was a bit weird, but we fix it. So that's the most important part. We can, of course, recolor this to, to green. In this case, I will just flip colors and keep them as separate shapes. We can group them so they can move together. Just select them all. Maybe select the bottom one first, so align them nicely. Select them all and now we can right click on one and group them. In the layer panel, we will see a group. All right. We can change the rotation just a bit to make it more randomized, more organic. And I think we are done with the next one. Let's zoom out and check. All right, seems like we finished all of them already. So feel free to take it further. You can add some decorations, details to those clip arts and use them as you please. I hope this was a nice practice with geometry tools and also the shape builder tool. And you will have nice use for those Christmas shapes. As you can see, we can build them all from a very, very simple shapes, mostly rectangles and circles. So even if you are not into pen tool, you can still create nice vector clip arts using simple tools and then applying some geometry actions to unite them, subtract them and similar actions. All right. So thank you for today and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.